I'm going to show you how to create these little star sparkle animations in After Effects. They're super quick and simple to make, so let's just jump in. I'm going to start by drawing a circle. So I'm going to grab my ellipse, and then I am just going to also just center it in my composition, and then press Y on my keyboard, click on my layer, and then I'm just going to bring my anchor point to the center. And that just sets us up nicely for any rotation we might add later on. And I did hold shift when I drew my circle, so it is perfectly proportionate, but I do want it to be taller than it is wide. So I'm just going to go to my path and size and make it just a bit taller than it is wide. And then while I'm down here, I'm just going to go to add and then pucker and bloat. And then open this up. And if we bring this into the minus, you'll see we start to get that star shape. And as I can see here, it is just creeping off the top. So I'm just going to relink my proportions and then just bring it all down as one to just about there, just so it fits in our composition a bit nicer. And the amount I'm going to have about, let's say minus 45. And then at the beginning of my timeline, I'm just going to make a keyframe. Then I'm going to move forwards about a second. And then let's then bring this all the way back to let's say around here. So for me, that's minus 86. So if I play this through, you can see our stars shaped animating slightly, getting thinner and sharper over time. And then let's bring our playhead in between these two keyframes. And then let's make another keyframe on our ellipse path size. We don't need to change it, we're happy with the size as it is. And then let's go to the very start, and then let's change our size to zero. And then let's do the same on our very final keyframe. We can just press K to jump to that last keyframe. Zero. Now you see our star animates up and then back down again, but it's all quite robotic, so I'm not even going to play that through. We're just going to go straight into our easing. So if we right click on our middle keyframe of the size, easy ease and then let's go to our graph editor and i'm on the speed graph and let's just highlight that middle keyframe again from here and then let's drag out these handles almost to their maximum point there and you'll be left with this a star sparkle animated in and back out again with a nice bit of movement on the actual shape of our star as well and let's just go back to our normal timeline and if you want to take this even further, what we can do is let's just duplicate our layer. Let's just call that star. And then this would be star two. And then on this second star, making sure we're on top of our middle size keyframe, just so we can see it at its biggest point. On our second star, let's press R to bring up our rotation. Let's just rotate that 45 degrees. And then what we will need to do is, if I just press U to bring up our size, keyframes. We don't want this one to be stretched in the vertical more than the horizontal. We want it to be nice and square. So I'm just going to unlink these again. Let's just make that a nice round 300 by 300. Link that again. And now I can just adjust it to the size I want. So let's just go with that, which is 385. And then let's just also bring this layer about two or more frames further along in the timeline just to give it a bit of an offset and there we go we have a eight pointed star rather than a four i'm not quite happy with this frame that frame is fine i don't like this bit here where it's only just overlapping so i'm just going to bring the last two keyframes of our first star and just match them with that last set of keyframes on our second star just so we don't have that weird overlap at the end and that's it so we can do lots of varieties with this. We can, if I just duplicate our composition quickly and delete that second star, you can, for example, also add some rotation. This is why we have or put our anchor point in the center at the very start. Let's start it at minus 45 degrees, make a keyframe, press U, K and K to jump to the very end. And then let's make that 45 degrees. Let's just scrub through to make sure that's working as it should. 
Yeah, it is. But what I'm going to do is I want to keep it proportionate for this one, I think. So I'm just going to make it 380 by 380. So yeah, I think that's the rotation we want. But then I'm going to, on our first keyframe, ease out. And then let's ease in on that last one. Press J to jump onto this middle keyframe. Make a keyframe in the middle, which we want to be zero. Because we want it to, when it gets to its full height, we want it to sort of slow down and then speed up as it gets bigger or smaller. So it's going to go to our graph editor. Let's just drag these down to zero. Because we want it to have, let's have it slightly above actually, just so it has a little bit of rotation happening in the speed. But then let's have the rotation start quite quick and then ease back out again. So it has jumped back down to zero, which is a bit annoying, so let's just drag it slightly back up and see how that looks. Yeah, not too bad, it is slowing down too soon. I'm actually going to get rid of the easing. I actually preferred that before, I think, so let's just undo that, play that through again. And yeah, let's just I think it's that last one that's bothering me slightly. I think it just needs to speed up a bit here. So maybe I'll bring that in. Yeah, I think that's better. Has a bit more of a ramp now and a bit more anticipation. So let's leave it there and call it a day. If you found this tutorial useful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.